If you're coming to college straight from your high school or hometown, moving to a university can be a big transition. It's exciting and fun, but it can be challenging at times. In this next segment, we'll talk to a few students about what it was like to move into their new living environments. When I transitioned into my new university, it was difficult. I had to find my way around a new city, around a new university, make new friends, and also take my classes and complete my classes. I moved from a different state, and I was an only child, and then I moved into a house where I lived with a hundred other men. Uh, so the transition was a little bit rough in terms of always being surrounded by people. Uh, you have to find time that you're going to want to use the restroom or find quiet places that you can study or find times that are best for you to catch up on your sleep. Family is really big for me and I needed to find family on campus immediately. Transitioning from another state, uh, it was difficult just because I didn't have the same network that I had back home so I didn't have friends or family to rely on. Um, so that really pushed me to look on campus for opportunities to get involved. I started small. I went to go see my advisor and I asked them about different opportunities on campus. I think the hardest part about transitioning to a new living environment was the food. I wasn't used to the residence hall food or the off-campus food for that matter. Eating in the residence halls was great because I didn't have to worry about burning my food. But once I started cooking, it was a really cool experience because I learned how to cook things like chicken that are very simple. <laughs> Being homesick is a real thing. It was something I struggled with, and the way I coped with it was I called my mom every now and then, but most importantly, I found a family on campus. If you ever feel alone, don't be afraid to just show up to something. Go see your advisor. That could be the first step. My roommate and I had different schedules, so I never saw him, and he never saw me. We had to coordinate who to clean the kitchen, who to clean the bathroom, and because there was not open communication, it was a little bit difficult. One of my roommates had a conflict with me, and I accidentally overheard the conversation, and so I thought that the best way to address the situation was to have a conversation about it and come up with working agreements. Your roommate can't read your mind and you can't read their mind. So direct communication is the only way to have a positive living situation. For many students, transitioning to college is unlike any experience they've encountered before. Feelings of homesickness are normal and there are people who can help. Talk to an RA or staff member or someone you trust who can direct you to the resources available at your university.